Welcome back to Aeons, and we're playing against the Umbra Titan. So let's have a shuffle here. We'll get into turn order, get right into it. And as you can see, I have my goggles here in case I need to read anything. So, <laughs> yeah, they shouldn't be there. All right, anyway. All right, let's get turn order going, and let's figure out who's going first in our episode for today. And that's going to be the Nemesis. Oh, great. I will need these, so I'll just grab them here. Okay, I'm going to put the Nemesis card down here so I don't forget. All right, first up we have, with three health remaining, the Cryptid. Persistent, the player with the most expensive prepped spell discards that spell, or Umber Titan loses one Nemesis token. Well, we have two Spark spells uh, prepped for Coolius, so we'll just have her lose one. Uh, they're all, we all have all zero spells. All right, next up we have the Grumbler. Grubber, Persistent, the Nemesis has two turn order cards in Nemesis order discard pile. They don't, they have one. Titan loses one Nemesis token. Otherwise, Gravehold suffers two damage. So the Grumbler starts chewing on Gravehold. 33 health, down to 31. All right. Oh, and yeah, somebody said this is supposed to start at 30 health. Uh, let me just readjust that. I'll fix that here in a second. I forgot. And then we're gonna take a look at this card once I change my battery. So yes, I mistakenly put this at 35. So we're down four health. So we're actually going to be, Gravehold's going to be down to 26. There, that corrects that. Apologize for that. I don't know why I started at 35. I just assumed it was 35. It is actually starting at 30. All right, we're going to take a look at the next card here for the Nemi Sis. And what do we have? We have another power, Seismic Roar. To discard, spend six ether power. Umber Titan loses two Nemesis tokens. Wow. Okay, that's not very good. Um, power three, so we're gonna put a three on there. Yikes, all right, ha, huh. not good indeed. All right, up next is going to be player two, which is Gex, all right. Let's have Gex go ahead and take a turn. All right, so here we have Gex and she has a spark spell. We're gonna cast that off. We're gonna go ahead and hit the cryptid from three health down to two. All right, cryptid's down to two health. And we have, uh, what do we have here? We have Shattered Geo. So one, two, three, four. We have five Ether and a Spark. Well, we'll put the Spark and Open Breach one. And we have a total of five Ether to spend. And with five Ether to spend, do we want to? Uh, seven to open. We can't even, we should almost be getting another Breach going for her. That would be three to focus. You know, we're going to focus this Breach for three, and then for two, we've got too many minions out there. We're gonna go ahead for her, we're gonna get the nerve jab. Deal the damage, silence a minion, costing two. So that's spending our five ether. And, uh, oh, this you may place the top card of any di uh, player's discard pile into your hand. We could have placed a spark from our ally into our hand, but we would not do that. So we'll put that there, and we'll put them back in any order. So we're gonna put them back in that order, all right. Five more cards. So one, a crystal. I'm gonna flip the deck over. Two, three, four more to give us a total of five. So for her next hand, she's gonna have crystal, crystal, crystal. The Vim Dynamo. Suffer damage. Any player draws two cards. I kind of like that. So four, yeah. All right, Vim Dynamo and four crystals. Back we go to turn order. All right, turn order time. And we have up next is player two. So. Gex gets to go again. All right, okay, not bad, not bad. Over we go, back to Gex. All right, I really don't like that power card out there. And so we will start off by firing off the spark spell. One damage, we're gonna do it to the grubber, which is actually gonna take it from five health down to four. And I know, why are we not getting rid of the um, minion? Because I want, Quilly is to use her special card ability to take the minions out to give her power-ups for her charges. I don't know how that's going to work. That might be a losing strategy, but it's one I'm going to try. So we have the Vim Dynamo. Suffer damage. Any player draws two cards. So she's going to go ahead and play that. She's going to suffer damage. Nine down to eight. You're like, why are you damaging yourself? But she gets to draw two cards. So she draws another crystal. Five hands. She gets a Vim Dynamo. Oh, man. So... Suffer damage, and any player draws two cards, she's gonna play that again. She's gonna go down to seven health. I know I'm knocking the health out of her. Two cards, a spark. Come on, we need some more. 
a nerve jab no okay this is this is all not great so she's going to put the nerve jab in open breach one one two three four and you know for five ether she's going to actually open her breach two completely so she's got two open breaches and she'll put the spark in there and i couldn't get rid of the power card no all right puts the cards back in any order oh hang on we're actually going to do it this way we're going to put one of the vim dynamos like this all the ether cards and the other vim dynamo now you're thinking why are we damaging ourselves because you can actually destroy this any player uh, gets two life and discard and the charge so she can get her life back by destroying the vim dynamos okay one two three four cards so ether 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 shatter geode and we're going to flip her deck over she gets one more so a spark and that's going to be her hand for next episode because she has gone twice now shatter geode two three four five ether of a spark ha huh. all right back we go to turn order oh dear all right turn order and who do we have next player one okay quilius gets to go let's go to Player one, have her take a turn. All right, so what do we have for Quilius? We have a spark. So with the spark spell, she's gonna cast that off and she is going to damage the Grumbler from four health down to three. And I know what you're thinking. Why did you not take the one? Oh, no, we're gonna leave it four health. What am I doing? We're leaving that one at four health. We're taking the cryptid from two health down to one. That's what I wanted to do. Getting the cryptid ready to be taken out by her special spell, which is right here, Extinguish. So she's going to put Extinguish in Open Breach 1. She's got 2, 3, 4, Aether, and Dark Fire. So I'm going to put Dark Fire in here. And with um, 2, 3, 4, Aether, 5 to open. Ugh. We can focus uh, Open Breach 4. Or we can go ahead and get a spell or something. So I think two, three, four. We can get a couple of charges. I don't know if it's worth getting charges. I think she, well, I think she's going to get one charge for two. And then she's going to get one of those nerve jabs as well. So we're going to give her one charge. Go ahead and also get her a two cost spell. The nerve jab, deal of damage, silence a minion. Okay, I like that. So we're going to get that spell. All right, that's the end of her turn. Put the cards back in any order this way. Five new ones. One crystal. Flip her deck over. One, two, three, four cards. Let's see what else she gets. So for her next hand, she'll have crystal, 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 extinguish, and crystal. All right, not bad, not bad. So not good, but not bad. Okay, and dark fire sitting there. All right, over we go back to turn order. All right, back to turn order, and it is the Nemesis, and now I made a mistake because I put Darkfire in the... Okay, whatever. <laughs> Nemesis card. They're piling up. We have one health left on the Cryptid, which I could have gotten rid of, but we didn't. The player with the most expensive prep spell discards a spell, or Umbra Titan loses a Nemesis token. You know, this time, I think we're going to go ahead and have the Umbra Titan lose one of their eight tokens. Boom! Mmm! Probably a bad idea. I don't know. I'm not sure how we're playing. So, and the next, the Grubber person with Nemesis has two order cards. Oh crap, they do. The Nemesis has two order cards. Uh, in the discard pile, Umber Titan loses a Nemesis token. Ooh, otherwise Gravehold suffers two damage. So, another Nemesis token comes off down to six. Yikes. And we take a power off this one from three down to two. We've got to get rid of that one. That is a bad one to have out there because Umber Titan will lose two tokens if it triggers. And speaking of triggering, we do get another Nemesis card. Woven Sky. To discard, discard three cards in hand. Power to unleash. Any player suffers four damage. That is also bad. And it's two. Yikes. Okay. Well, any player can discard three cards to get rid of it. And unleash if there's one Nemesis turn order. Discard pile. Any player suffers two damage if there's two uh, in, in the discard pile. Uh, Gravehold suffers two damage or Umber Titan loses a Nemesis token. All right, last up we have, of course, player one to end off our turn. So back we go to Quilius. All right, so what we have been waiting to do, we're going to use Extinguish right off the bat. Uh, and it's deal one damage. If this damage causes a minion from the Nemesis deck to uh, to be discarded, Quilius gains a trophy token. So, boom, we're going to do that. 
We have taken out the cryptid. It had only one health left. Away you go, Mr. Cryptid. And we get a power token down here. So I'm going to use these little pink ones. And these are deal two damage for each uh, trophy token you have. So we get a trophy token. So now if we get all our charges, we can deal two damage. We want to build these up as much as possible to really start hammering out the damage. And we have Dark Fire. So with Dark Fire, discard up to two cards in hand. Deal three damage for each discarded card this way. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to fire that off. And we are going to discard one card in hand, which is a crystal. So discard goes into the discard pile uh, right after the spell. And we get to deal three damage. And the three damage we're going to deal, we're going to deal it to the Grumbler, taking it from four health down to three. All right, so the Grumbler is down to three health. Uh, we have the Seismic Roar sitting there in the Woven Sky. They both have two power. So if the Nemesis goes twice in a row next time, I'm going to be kind of hooped. All right. But that's the way with variable turn order. You just never know. All right. Extinguish going into open breach. One. And we can focus three if we want. Kind of want to. Kind of want to get rid of Woven Sky as well. So I think we're going to go ahead and get rid of Woven Sky. Boom. That's a three. And because we just discarded. To discard. Discard three cards in hand. We discard three cards in hand. And that is not going to trigger. All right. That's going to be the end of our episode. We're going to put five moves. One, two, three, four. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five. Card quality is very good in this game as well. I just want to mention that. And we have a crystal, a leeching agate, nerve jab, a couple of sparks. So, yeah, three spells. Okay, it is what it is. And we're going to wrap up our episode for today. Alrighty, well, we didn't even scratch the nemesis at all today. We just kind of did nothing. They've lost a couple of tokens now off the Umber Titan. Of course, if they lose all tokens, you'll lose the game. Uh, when the Nemesis, when the Umber Titan has zero Nemesis tokens, Gravehold's foundation is undermined and Gravehold collapses into rubble and the players lose. So, don't want to do that. We're at Gravehold at 26 health. The Nemesis only has two damage on it. We did get rid of the minion and gave Quilius a power up. We have a Nerve Jab ready to go for Gex. We have Extinguish ready to go for... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's all... It depends on turn order. That's the big thing about this game. We'll see what happens. So, it's going to be it. We'll reshuffle that at the beginning of the next episode. So, thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, and likes. This is Aeon's End. We're playing against the Umbra Titan with Coleus and Gex. And it's going to be a rough ride. So, thanks so much. We'll see you next time. And yes, one little quick correction here at the end of the episode. We did three damage to the Grubber, taking it from four health down to one. I said four health down to three when we used our Dark Fire spell. So we're sitting at one health. That's it. So thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. For Aeon's End, we're playing against the Umbra Titan.